Hi, my name is Eli Kello. Uh, this is my famous speech analysis. Uh, today we're going to talk about Patrick Henry and his speech, Give Me Liberty or Give Me Death. Uh, his speech was given on March 23rd in 1775 at the Second Convention of Virginia on, at St. John's Church in Richmond. Uh, his audience was the uh, Colonial Congress, um, the House of Burgesses, the legislature. Um, so let's talk a little bit about Patrick Henry. Patrick Henry was the founding father uh, of America. He protested British tyranny heavily. Okay, he served in Virginia, House of Burgesses, and the Co Continental Congress. He was a five-term governor in Virginia, and he was commissioned as the colonel of the 1st Virginian Regiment. Um, so the occasion was the 2nd Virginia Convention. Um, so in this analysis, we're going to talk about what it did, who it affected, uh, what it meant and how it affects today, today's time. Um, <clears throat> so Patrick Henry appeared before the legislator to warn them about the British Crown. Uh, Henry was an um, he was he was an Adventist. He he hated the British tyranny. He hated being a slave. Uh, he he just he despised it. Every protest that they that they had against the British Crown, he was there. Uh, he actually put on a lot of. Uh, in, 19, in 1765, the Unjust Stamp Act of 1765 was passed by the British count, Crown, and Patrick Henry hated it, and that kind of sparked his, uh, his hatred for the British tyranny all along. That started him on his movement. Uh, ten years later, on the brink of revolution, uh, revol yeah, revolution uh, he sparked the heart of Americans and uh, put, put a lot of patriotism into it uh, with his speech, give me, give me liberty or give me death. Um, the basis of this was to warn the Continental Congress and the people of the, co uh, the colonies against the British tyranny. They had tried everything. They had tried protesting. They had tried um, boycotting, and, and they were just fed up. The only thing left to do was to fight. And uh, Patrick Henry really brought this to the table uh, with his speech, Give Me Liberty or Give Me Death. And um, the emotion of this is when I read it, uh, when I listened to it, I, I got goosebumps, and I felt an overwhelming sense of patriotism. Uh, I felt um, a compassion and, a, and, a, and a, just a, a newfound respect for my country uh, when I read this, and just a lot more respect. Uh, so I can only imagine what it would be like to be in that room and, and how much patriotism and how much... Uh, it's, it's like the tension, you could cut it with a knife. Um, so, and that really had a, a, a big impact on the, the Revolutionary War. Uh, without Patrick Henry, I, I, it, the Revolutionary War, it might not have happened. Uh, we might still be slaves today. This was a big turning point in the history of America and actually the history of the world. Uh, this was one of the most important times for America. This is when we, gained, this is when we became America. Um, so he really ignited the Revolutionary War. He's a major, major, major part. He's a founding father of America because of this. Uh, the emotion of the speech, he, he, he had to be bold. It was almost desperate. Uh, but he, it was bold as well, and he had to be bold. Uh, in, his, in his speech, and I quote, he says, Should I keep uh, back my opinions at such a time through fear of giving offense, I should consider myself as guilty of treason towards my country and of an act of disloyalty towards the majesty of heaven, which I revere above all earthly kings. What he's saying there is, he didn't want to hurt anybody's feelings. He didn't want to disagree with anybody. He didn't want to to make to, to um, scare anybody with the thought of war. But he considered it an act of treason because the only thing left to do, and he knew this, was to fight and to go to war against the British crown. And he's saying he he fears God, and he and he figures that it would be an act of treason uh, to not tell them about this, to not to not spur them into action, um, to go to war against the British. And he fears God. It says he reveres God above all earthly kings. He, he fears God more than he fears the British, is what he's saying. And he's saying uh, with his final words, give me liter liberty or give me death, he's saying that there are worse things than death, and he would rather be dead than to not be free. Um, so that's, reason, that's one of the reasons I picked this speech, is because he fears God. And I, and I think that um, the fear of God is a very manly uh, characteristic. One of, it's the most important, I think. Because uh, if you fear God, then that I, I think that means you love God, and uh, to fear Him like not like be scared of Him, but to fear Him in a, in a respectful way. Now, Patrick Henry used ethos, pathos, and logos. The three major 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 points of a speech is ethos, pathos, and logos. 
ethos being appealing to ethics, pathos being appealing to emotion, and logos being appealing to logic. Now, the ethics behind this is slavery is not okay, and um, Patrick Henry knew that, and nobody wants to be a slave, uh, and I think they all they all knew that. None of them wanted to be a slave, but they also didn't want to go to war. They were scared, and Patrick Henry stood up for the Colonial Congress for America, and without them, there I really don't think there would be an America today. It would be completely different. Uh, I think we, we might even still be under rule of the British if it weren't for Patrick Henry. Um, the emotion of this, like I said, it was desperate, but it was bold, and it took a man of God to stand up and to spur American action. Uh, and like I said, I felt the overwhelming sense of patriotism, and I, I think that that was a lot more overwhelming in that room, and that spurred a lot of people, people who heard about it, people who maybe read about it in the newspaper, I, I don't know. But um, that's the pathos part. The logos part is logic. It's not logical to just sit around. They tried everything. They tried protesting. It didn't work. Uh, so the only logical thing to do was to go to war and to fight. Uh, so that is my analysis on Patrick Henry.